Hi, welcome back to Moose and Chemistry. This is the electronic configuration chromium CR lesson. Chromium happens to be the 24th element on the periodic table, so we're like 24 right here. Pretty snarly, huh? And the AMU on the mass number is going to be 52. All right, since the atomic number is 24, that means we have 24 protons in the nucleus. And since chromium is electrically neutral, we're going to have 24 electrons. Now we're going to go AMU minus the number of protons equals the number of neutrons. So we're going to go 52 minus 24, and that's going to give me 28 neutrons. Snarls, huh? Okay, before we get into electron configuration, it's important to remember that the S subshell can hold two electrons and the P subshell can hold six electrons, and the D subshell can hold 10 electrons, and the S subshell can hold 14 electrons. We're going to use the off-ball principle, which is the diagonal rule, and we're going to follow these red arrows down until we run out of electrons. All right, so let's get it started. So, 1s2, 2s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, okay, 3p6, now notice I'm hesitating on that 4s2, because think about this for a second, if you write 4s2, 3d4, you're going to be wrong, and I'm going to show you why, so we're going to count this as 4s1, 3d5. Most people, when they get it wrong, they put 4s2, 3d4. But I'm here to tell you that is absolutely wrong. Do not do this for this particular element. And here's why. Let's take a look, let's look at Hun's rule, and that'll explain it. So S subshell can hold two electrons. There you go, up and down, up and down. Now watch, remember that Hun's rule says that we have to fill in each suborbit with an up arrow first before we start the down arrow. And that's important to remember. And you'll see that when we get to the 3D. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 3S, up and down. Then 3PX, 3PY, 3PZ. So those are the up arrows. Now watch the down arrows again. One, two, and three. Now, you're tempted to go up and down with that fourth S. But remember, you have to fill in the suborbit of three Ds first with all up arrows before you could actually go to the next level. So it actually is going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then the down, and then an up arrow here for 4S. All right, now, <laughs> I know that's confusing, but you have to remember that chromium is an exception, so you have to watch out for that. So argon is gonna be our noble gas notation, it's the nearest noble gas to chromium, and then we're gonna use our valence shell right here, right? So we're gonna write that as 3D5, 4S1. Let's look at our quantum notation. Now you're tempted to say, hey, chromium is in the fourth period, but it's not. Remember that elements in the D block, you have to go N minus one. So it appears that it's in the fourth period, but in actuality, it's gonna be four minus one, which is three. So our principal quantum number for chromium is actually three. Our L value, is going to be 2 because it is in the D block, okay? Chromium is in the E block, somewhere in that area. Now, our magnetic number, okay? Scantium was minus 2, titanium was minus 1, vanadium was 0, so chromium is going to be 1, following that sequence there. I'm going to put 1 there. And this last arrow right here in the D block is going up, so we're going to call that 1 half positive. Well, that's it, guys. 
you be snarly, and we'll see you back here at Moosing Chemistry.